with a Fox News alert. Fox News now learning that Jeffrey Epstein was not checked on for several hours leading up to his death. This according to a person familiar with the matter. Fox also learning that Epstein should have been checked on every 30 minutes. Let's bring in Matthew Whitaker, former, former acting attorney general and incoming outside general counsel for PC Matic. Thank you so much for being here. Congrats. Thanks. Congrats. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Glad to be here. I, I am uh, excited to work with the folks at PC Matic as one of the clients uh, as part of my law practice. And so it's, uh, I really like the, the company and, uh, and, and uh, it should be a fun, fun time. What do you think, um, what do you make of what happened to Epstein? Do you think it was suicide? Well, this is the great thing about the Department of Justice, and as the former Attorney General, you know, I headed up the Bureau of Prisons, among other things. And you know, I, I'm, I was very pleased that Bill Barr uh, took this incredibly seriously and said we have to get to the bottom of this, and brought in uh, Michael Horowitz, who is uh, the Inspector General and who has a lot of experience investigating things that have happened at BOP, including in this New York City um, jail. Um, I also know, you know, was there when General Sessions appointed Hugh Hurwitz to be the head of BOP. And I think, you know, he's a methodical uh, procedure-based person. And, and BOP, there's n nobody that does it better than BOP. So I was really surprised to see that some of these protocols and procedures, the 30-minute uh, check and the like, were not uh, followed. And so um, I think there's some, some serious questions that are raised here. Um, and, and once we hear yeah. the whole answer, I think we'll... We'll have a lot better picture, but there's no doubt that, I mean, I think reason and common sense would suggest that someone should have been checking on him based on just what had happened several weeks Matt, before with him. you say there's serious questions being asked, but uh, in, in the Wall Street Journal today, their op-ed basically says that this fiasco, this whatever's happened, and we're going to get the facts, but this is part of why Americans don't trust their government. How important is getting this investigation right, concise, and, and transparent? Well, the transparency is the key. That's what builds confidence for the American people. If you don't give all of the facts and, and essentially a line by line as to what we looked into, what we talked to, what we found, what we saw, what, what, what was violated, if anything, and, and the who, what, you know, just like the facts, then, then the confidence won't be there. And so we need like ultimate transparency in this case. Now, this is the same jail that El Chapo was just being held um, before he was transferred out to the, yeah. the Supermax out in, in Colorado. And so I was surprised to see that they could hold him safely with, without incident and then have Epstein twice. I mean, once a alleged failed attempt at suicide and now a successful attempt. I, I, something, um, I think, you know, the questions surrounding this, something doesn't add up. And, I, and we, need, we need full transparency and we need the answers on this. You mentioned Horowitz, which has sent my mind in another direction because his name yep. has been used on the other inspector general yep. investigation. Any sense on when his other investigation comes right. out about what happened? Right, Pete, I think, I think everyone believes that it's going to be September. Uh, and, and those are, that together with the Durham uh, piece of those investigations as to the origins of that entire uh, Russia investigation is going to be key. And again, that's where we're going to need, we're going to need full transparency. We're going to know, yeah. need to know sort of what decisions were made, why did they make them, what was the predicate for these investigations. And, and uh, you know, I've been, I, I mean, I, I, I know some of it, but one of the things that I heard Bill Barr say after he took over in February from me is that he couldn't get answers to some of these questions. And I felt the same way. I asked the same questions and I couldn't get answers either. So I, I was really glad to see him um, do this because I think then we're going to we're going to get some of these answers. As far as the transparency in the Epstein thing, how do you find out what really goes on behind bars? Because we always hear, "Don't snitch, don't tattle, don't you know?" Because you'll be bad things could happen to you if you do that. So how do you really right. find out the truth? Well, it's like conducting any other investigation. You know, you sort of you you start on the outside and you work your way in. Yeah. I think the interesting thing is they have cameras, but not in the cells. Um, you know, obviously there's staff there that was that were doing things, um, but at the same time, you know, there was nobody in the cell with him, and and, and I think some to some extent it's going to be what was happening outside of the cell and in the hallways and who was moving yeah. around yeah. at the time. I mean, that's that, that, that you, those cameras usually are your are your you, best fact provider. You mentioned Barr; he is outraged. He's very upset. Is that justified? Oh yeah, I, I'm sure when he got the news that that. I, I, I'm guessing he did not use the best language uh, because I mean that's that that is that was if not the most high-profile case going on in, at DOJ, one of the most high-profile yeah. cases, and you just want to make sure that those victims receive the you know the the satisfaction and the justice that yep. they deserve. And so to be to, you know to, to have it go down the way it went down, I think I, I think well, is 
yep. would you would want the attorney general outraged and 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 very angry and demanding answers. We shall see what happens, Matt Whitaker. Thank you for being here. Congratulations on the new gig for PC yep. Maddox. We want to see you in the commercials, maybe coming up. Well, I don't know. and you're five, I see here. that your five minutes are up. Okay. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> you were at the Iowa State Fair. I was. I was at it's the Iowa State Fair on Saturday. State Fair. It's much better because they have hot uh, corn dogs instead of pronto pie. We got to leave it there.